Will it floor plan? Is it possible to design a floor plan shaped like the letter R? Well, let's give it a shot. The first thing I would do is put a garage on that leg and the main entrance on the other leg. Garage is kind of cool because there's room to park a car, but there's also room for a little workshop at the back with a side access door there. Through the front door, we have a coat closet and a little bench area adjacent to the living room. And the living room's got good views out both sides of the leg there and to the courtyard. Now, when you come through the front door, you can walk behind the furniture towards the kitchen to the dining room. And from the garage, you can cut through the mud or laundry room to the dining room as well. A couple of closets there for your convenience. Courtyard in the middle, labeled patio. I get it, but it's got two access points, one from each side. Kitchen has really cool views to the exterior and to that patio as well. Side door leading to the property there, and then access to the basement for, through those stairs there. Now, the remaining space is dedicated to bedrooms and bathrooms, so let's take a look. Uh, but we want to keep the track running all the way around for the dogs and the kids, so we've got a bedroom there and a bedroom at the back. There's going to be a bathroom in between. That's going to be shared by visitors as well who are coming over to hang out. Primary bedroom at the back with the ensuite at the back wall, so we get a window, closet, bed area, patio doors leading to the exterior as well. 45 feet wide, 74 feet deep, 2,552 square feet. Hold the screen there if you want to check it out more, or if you really like it, you can buy the mug in the merch shop.